And welcome to Rossford High School as we have their first home opener. They're facing off against the Port Clinton Redskins as both teams looking for their first win of the season. Port Clinton won the toss and decided to receive the kickoff. Rossford coming off a really tough loss. They three seconds left in the game and Swanton ended up scoring a touchdown. And set to kick off for Rossford is Jackson Murtha from the 40. Picked up at the 10 yard line. As they go right down the middle, evading a few blocks and all the way up to about the 35 yard line, maybe the 36. That was a nice little run there. Got the ball straight up the gut. No side to side. Nice uh, field possession here. As we got a cloud of smoke coming in front of us after all the uh, student section decided to let off some chalk. It'll clear out here. And LeBron we'll James is in the house. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Port Clinton, they're coming off of a loss last week. They, got a, they lost to Sandusky, 48-21. So both teams are looking for their first W. Colton Klima. He's a lefty. He hands that ball off as they run that up the middle. It's about the 37 and a half yard line. There's a lot of people in the stands here tonight for the school being renovated and everything. You know, parking was kind of limited and all that, but got a good turnout. You Herbert here, didn't you? Yes, I did. <laughs> That way I didn't have to worry about a parking spot. Pretty smart man. That's Klima from the shotgun. Drops back as he feels some pressure from the right side, and he ends up evading a few of them, getting up, picking up the first down, crossing over to the 46-yard line. Well, that was a smart move there by the quarterback. He looked down, didn't have an open receiver, took the ball away, ran up the middle, and got enough yards to get the first down. Brought down by a host of Bulldogs. 11-13 remaining in the first quarter. And they move the chains. Twins out to the right. Klima hands that ball off. As Cooper Stein picks up a couple yards. Nice little stop there by the Rossford Bulldogs. Broke a couple arm tackles, but uh, not after he gained a couple yards there. He's second and about eight. Rossford defense last game was pretty good, actually. Um, got a lot of three and outs. And keeping the drives down. Kept him in the game the whole time. Just a tough loss at the end with three seconds left. Klima dropping back. Lefty. Oh, getting a hand on it. It was Jacob Schiffert. Good defensive play there. Way to jump the route there. Got a hand on it and knocked it down. To make it third and long. That's yes, Port Clinton waiting for the call from the sideline. You can't ask for another much beautiful day than this. No. Got a little breeze up here too. Climber dropping to the left. He is a lefty. Trying to find open man down the field. Ben Morrison. And he cuts back going towards the center. And that's going to be a touchdown for Clinton. As you can see there, he rode around. Had his receiver wide open. He had a few steps. Threw the ball in there nicely. Broke up into the middle. Right into the end zone for the touchdown. And that was Zane Manning. I'm sorry. I looked at the wrong roster sheet there for Port Clinton. I think I'll just switch these around a little bit. <laughs> yeah, finding the open man there. Uh, wide open, and he just made a quick cut back to the center, and Rossford didn't react. Scampers in for an easy six points early in this first quarter. Hunter Mamani getting her set to kick ass. Looked like going off sides. And probably get an encroachment on this. One of the Rossford players. Well, 
That's you mean. go for two now, or since they're a little bit closer, or do you just still kick just the extra point? What do you think? I say they declined it. Um, but I think they're just going to go for it again. Probably just trying to get these guys some reps. As Mamani puts it up and it's through, giving them an early seven point lead. 10.05 remaining in the first quarter. We'll be right back here on the Toledo Sports Network. Genoa Bank helped finance my great grandfather's farm equipment. Genoa Bank helped my grandfather with a small business loan. My parents' home loan was from Genoa Bank. And I managed my free checking account online with Genoa Bank. Since 1902, Genoa Bank has helped generations of families. Many things have changed over the years, but our commitment to our customers has not. We care about their needs and the good of our community. At Genoa Bank, we take your banking needs personally. Stop by any of our eight locations today. There's the 50. I should have brought a scrap sheet of paper so we could have that. Right. I didn't pay attention to where the he, marking he was. He was back here. He was around right the 50. Right. Well, they got the first down at the 50-ish at, yeah. at one time, and then that was, it was at least 45. Yeah. That's where I made a mistake. I didn't bring a paper right down what was going on. And that's where uh, Steve Taylor was on, on point. He was right down those stampers. And welcome back to Rossford High School as Port Clinton gets out to an early 7 0 lead after a nice pass and catch. Touchdown by the Redskins. Unofficially about a 45-yard TD pass. As Mamani ends up squibbing that down the field, picked up around the 15-yard line, going to the right side. Has a hole and a good block, getting down 45. It just had to get back one, and it goes out of bounds on the Port Clinton side, right around the 58-yard line. And that's where they mark him down. Good return by... Broke the it to the outside, went up the sideline, and nice little start here for the Rossford Bulldogs. See if they can answer back. Kyle Kromenacher waiting for the call from the sideline. He had a really good game. Uh, he hooked up with Cam Reynolds a lot. Three of those touchdowns was them um, connecting. Officials timeout for uh, injured player, number 27 there for uh, Fort Clinton. Floro. Joking around with some of the uh, Port Clinton people right next to us. The uh, guys giving the call down onto the field, and they said, call us the Wildcats tonight. I said, no, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> but had to give them a little bit of fun. Kromanacker from the gun. He's got twins out right, both and left. Man in motion. Going to his left side. And caught right at the 40, and that's about where they're going to mark him down. As that's going to give them about a seven, eight yard gain. As he hooked up with Sparks, Zach Sparks, number 16. Nice little play there to start it. Now they got second and short. They are definitely in no hurry right now, getting a play from the sideline. They're pretty far back. It's hard to see the numbers of the Rossford uh, players. The Kromanacker, man in motion. Jamo needs and to get us a spotter. Oh, and picked up well by the defense of Port Clinton. Yeah, at that time, uh, the defense had a good push there on the offensive line, went right around them, and got the sack. That's going to bring up third and about five. 8.56 remaining in the first quarter. Good to see the support of these Rossford fans, though, out here with uh, the building being torn down behind us. The basketball area is completely down. Joe Stalmacourt, right? Mm-hmm. From an anchor. As getting a block and trying to go through center. Oh, he gets away. Invasive goes stiff arm, but could not get away as he lost another seven yards. And that's going to bring down fourth and long. That was a nice play there by Stein, honing his position, be able to get the sack there, make it a fourth and long. Tough first drive for the Bulldogs. Mark.
Marcus Pickleton dropping deep for the Port Clinton Redskins. Murtha getting set to kick. Still got some chalk flying in front of us. As, oh, almost getting to it. Defense of Port Clinton as that kick is nice and he's getting a good Rossford bounce as it starts rolling down near the 10 yard line and it's going to be down right about the 11. As Rossford's going to pin him back pretty deep. 7.43 remaining in this. Quick shout out to a couple of our sponsors here UA50, IBEW, and TAS. TAS Electronics. Also, a shout out to Sit Means Sit of Toledo. And you may not hear my voice for very long, as I might take a little bit of leave of absence. My wife is pregnant right now, and we're expecting any time now. So if he happens to go, now you know. <laughs> Maybe right in the middle of me calling this game. Who knows? As they run that one right up the middle, not too much there. Didn't Maybe fool a gain of about a yard. Yeah, they didn't fool the defense on that one. Stopped him right at the line of scrimmage. He might have got back to the line there. Well, it looks like they're giving him a gain of one, so it'll be second and nine. As Klima wait for the call from the sideline. Twins out to the left, single coverage on the right, and he's going to hand this off. Ross forget to hand on, but he gets loose, and he's gone. He's going down, down to the 40, up to the 50, still on his feet, as he finally gets taken down on the Rossford side of the 35-yard line. Nice little run there. Uh, a couple uh, arm tackles were broken. Went up the sideline. A nice little stiff arm to give him about another extra 15 yards. That was a nice little run there. First and 10. Yeah, Rossford's got to go back to the fundamentals there and remember just to get his shoulder right into the man's chest and drag him down. Yep, got to move their feet. All these arm tackles are just breaking right by him. I know you're taught to try to strip that ball out, and it works 10% of the time. <laughs> got to go with the odds. As a handoff there to the left end, getting around the end, but tripped up in the backfield. Looks like about a loss of one. Right now they got Rossford on their heels. Last time they came down, they were airing it out. Now this time they're running it right up the gut. And, and that was Willoughby that was tripped up in the backfield. It's about a half yard loss. 6-18 remaining in the first quarter. Clock still running. Twins out to the right. Single back formation and cuts it back to the left. Getting a couple yards, fighting his way up. And Rossford stopping him about the 31-yard line. And someone lost the helmet. But Rossford is going to have to come out for one down. I believe that was Dylan Prater. Linebacker. We got some Ozzy going over the radio right now. A little out with some Ozzy there. I get anyone pumped up, won't it? Klima drops back off to the right and tackled as he was caught at the about 29 yard line. As that's going to bring up fourth and about three. That was nice there. They picked up the blitz nicely to be able to get it outside there. Uh, still a little short there. It's fourth down. Are they going to go for it? Being that they're in the roster side. Oh, I would. For sure. I keep running it up the gut. It's been working for him right now. It's fourth and four. Watch for some trickery, too. As passed off and got the screen and moving on up to the, about the 22 and that's gonna be enough for the first down. As the Port Clinton Redskins keep this drive alive with 438 remaining. Nice little play there. He curled around, they had trips to the left. Hit him with a quick hitter, broke it back in the inside, broke a tackle and got enough for the first down. 
Yeah, poor Clinton looking very confident this week. Clock is running after that first down. Colton Klima. Running back off to the left. He gets a block from him and falls forward. Gain of about one and a half, two yards. Be second down and eight, officially. Sun is starting to set here in Rossford. As Friday night lights will be lighting up this gridiron. Second weekend already. Gotta love it. A little bit better than last year. It was really cold when we started the season. This actually feels like, you know, summer, end of summer weather. As that one, they go to the end around, and he's gonna get free up to the 10 yard line and finally taken down. Sydney had a nice little run there, a little stiff arm, breaking a tackle. Running enough, move the chains. See how Rossford does here, them being in the red zone. Fans getting into it down there. <laughs> Having a lot of fun. It's all you ask of these kids, though, at these games. Poor Clinton still driving 310, main in the first quarter. Klima, as they just go back to the running game, because they just keep taking up yards. Game of about two. We'll give a quick little shout out. We got Lucas back as one of our cameramen here. How you doing, Lucas? Glad you could uh, come back to Toledo Sports Network with us. Yeah, it's good to see him. It was last basketball season, probably last time I saw him. Yeah. He's been busy in school. Ended up getting his graduate degree. Communications, right? Congratulations to him. Yeah, you got a man in motion. Klima following him out to the left. Looking for him downfield. Finally goes back, and that one is dropped. That was a good deal there by Rosford. Yeah. Everybody stayed contained and tried to sneak it into a little hole, but it was knocked down. I think that was Sparks that got a hand on it. Going to bring up third and seven. Now third and goal, actually. Opportunity for Port Clinton to extend this lead. As Kwama talking to his running back. Everyone gets set. Got trips out to the left this time. And goes to him. Wide open. Oh, and getting a hand on it is one of the Rossford players there to break that up. He had two men wide open in the back of the end zone. It was underthrown. Or else Port Clinton would be on top. 13 to nothing early on in this one. Uh, it looked like he kind of slipped, though, when he threw that ball. He didn't have no footy in them behind him. And nope, just kind of floated it up there, allowing the uh, Rossford defense to get back underneath it and knock that down. That's going to be fourth and goal, as they are going to kick this one. Hunter Mamani getting set. 19-yard attempt. And that's going to be low and knocked down, and that's going to be no good. As the Rossford, Rossford defense stands up there, keeping this 7-0, we're going to take a break here. This is the Toledo Sports Network. On the job for you for over 100 years. You need a career. You need a future. Local 8 can help you make it happen. Join the men and women who build our community. Become a part of a proud tradition. Build your career. Build your future with the brothers and sisters of the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers, Local Union 8. We're on the job for you. We're on the job for you. We're the local IBEW. And welcome back as Rossford takes over after that blocked field goal attempt. They're going to start from the 20 yard line. Roman Acker 
Man in motion, holds onto the ball, goes out right, but Port Clinton is there as they finally drag him down around the 10. Forward progress is gonna take him to the 16 yard line. Nice little defensive stop there. We Port Clinton, they were not fooled on that one play at all. Oh, we lost a four on that play. So excited for football season this year too. We got college sports starting up tomorrow. Got a uh, Michigan facing off against Notre Dame and Notre Dame. That's a big one. Go blue. Ohio State against Oregon State, I believe. Who's coaching them this year? Uh, it is still Urban Meyer. Don't get me wrong. He'll he'll be somewhere on a telephone, <laughs> somewhere watching that game. He'll be communicating somehow. Oh yeah. But it's good to see that the program didn't just get completely destroyed off that. There's a lot of allegations going on right now. It's just crazy on how they're putting him in that predicament right there of controlling situations like that. I, it's just, I think it's a fine line. It's I don't 100% know it. exactly what happened. We don't know all the details. You know, everyone can speculate what they want. Um, apparently, the findings said, hey, you know what? We're just going to give you a suspension, and you'll, you'll still coach us for this year. We'll see what happens next year, though. As Rossford getting ready on second down after that loss. Cromanacker got sacked. He's got twins out right. One of them coming back across. And is going back left. Single coverage there. And finds his man. And that's a first down over across to the 37-yard line. Nice drawn up play there. They had a man in motion, moving the linebackers. A quick slant, hit him for it, moving the chains. First down, Rossford. Yeah, enter the uh, facility here from the left side of your screen. Normally, we can just walk up from behind us, but with the school being torn down, I had to take another route. I needed the exercise, though. Yeah, I had to go to Maumee first before I could come back over here to Rossford. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> All the walking we did. Quick throw out to the right. There's a flag on the play in the backfield. I don't know. This might be something to do with the quarterback. But it is in range of holding, too. So let's see. Call us from the ref. Is that's going to be an illegal chop block? Chop block. By Rosper. That's going to come back a little bit. The ref's looking to walk this off. I believe that pass was completed to Cam Reynolds. So that's going to negate any further progress. That's going to bring them all the way back to the wow. 21, yeah. Well, they got still first down, but they got some ground to make up here. 130 left in the first quarter. As all the Rossford bench ended up going to the right <laughs> side, expecting to be in midfield, and that shot block brought them back a couple yards. Kromanacher sitting... Alone in the backfield, trips out left, single cover still down to the right, and he's going to the right, and he's got a wide open, but he just overthrew him by about two steps. They did the exact same play, just the opposite way of what they did last time, and just overshot his receiver. If he would have been able to drop that onto him, he would have had nothing but daylight to the end zone. You will see them hook up here tonight, though. They, it's his favorite receiver, and he was able to draw the attention away from him, give him one-on-one, -on -one, and if they would have just... Just put a little bit more arc on it. That probably would have been easy six. Right, you guys called his name all last week. We call, yeah, uh, just about every other play. <laughs> As, like they got trips out to the right this time. Still saying, oh, we fumbled the ball a little bit, picked it back up. He's going to start running. He's up to the 30, 35, taken out, out of bounds at about the 35-yard line. He's just going to be still third and long. Nice heads up play there by the quarterback. Fumbled the snap. Seen him coming after him and tucked the ball away and do what you got to do to get those forward yardage. Yeah, it was definitely a senior play there. Heads up play to pick that ball up and just run with it. 59.8 seconds left. 
first quarter, third and 12. Yeah, you got a good chunk of that back. Sending a man oh. off to the right. And he is going downfield, and look who it is! Going! Cam Reynolds down to the 20, getting chased down. Ed could not bring him down, and he's in for a touchdown, Bulldog! You caught that one. You said they will be hooking up shortly. They went right back to their bread and butter, overshot him the first time, this time. Right over the shoulder. Broke the tackle into the end zone. Touchdown, Bulldog. Well, they're seeing that when they put him in single coverage, he's beating his man. I'd go to him every time, too, if I could. 47.9 seconds remaining in this first quarter. As the Bulldogs looking to tie this game back up. Jackson Murtha. Looking for the easy 20-yarder. That's down up, and it is no, no good. They're good. saying wide. As that's going to keep Port Clinton on top, 7-6. Rossford with a touchdown here in the first quarter. We'll take a break. You're listening to the Toledo Sports Network. Conveniently located in downtown Rossford, Ohio, the law firm of Heben, Summer, and Murphy is there to serve your estate, business, and litigation needs. Heben, Summer, and Murphy is a proud sponsor of Rossford Athletics. Contact the law firm of Heben, Summer, and Murphy at 419-662-3100 or on the net at www.hsm-law.net. Go Bulldogs! Moe's Place, downtown Rossford, has the best burgers in town and much, much more. Stop by for their famous Flaming Moe Burger. Moe's Place, proud to bring you Rossford High School Sports. Adler Transmissions and Brake Shop, 106 South Main, Walbridge, Ohio. Your automotive parts and accessories number one store. Your first stop for quality transmission repair for over 25 years. Adler's Transmission and Brake Shop has been providing Walbridge and all of Northwestern Ohio with quality service. Adler's Transmission and Brakes, 419-666-1010. Proud sponsor of high school sports in Northwestern Ohio. Crossford High School as Kromenecker and Reynolds hook up for a 61-yard touchdown pass and catch. 47 seconds left in the first quarter. Murtha, the kickoff. Gets it down to about the eight yard line. As they tail off to the left, and he's got nothing but open field. One man to beat, and they get a hand on him, drag him down about the 40 yard line. That was Weldon. Weldon for Port Clinton Redskins. Zach Bring Weldon. it up the sideline. Put him in nice field position to start this drive off here. Probably benefit them to squib it down there next time. That's the second big return by Port Clinton. It's Colton Klima. Just get ready to start this next drive. End up getting their field goal blocked on the last possession. They had a really nice first drive. Twins out to the right, and they're going to run that up with Willoughby. And there's a flag on the play after a gain of about three. Yeah, that was thrown by I one of the back be holding. Yeah. Might be defensive holding, who knows? No, it was on offense. <laughs> and Port Clinton is going to be backed up here. Holding on Port Clinton. And they're going to bring that back to the 48-yard line on the Rossford side. I'm sure Rossford uh, happy to push them back a little bit after that big run back on the kickoff. 27 seconds remaining. Officials time out right now. I don't know what's going on. They're talking about something. It may be... Quick for our sponsors, UA50, IBEW, and Taz making this all possible. On the Toledo Sports Network. Klima hands that one off again, and Rossford stopping him after a gain of about two. 
Rossford defense sticking it up right now. Stopping the run here. Making it second and 16. And that is gonna do it. That's gonna take us to the end of this first quarter. Port Clinton on top of Rossford, 7-6. We'll be right back here on the Toledo Sports Network. Now's the time to join the Northwest Ohio piping industry. If you have a high school diploma or GED, are a high school senior currently enrolled in a vocational program, or have a college degree, sign up now for our apprenticeship program. There's never been a better time to start an exciting career as a welder, pipe fitter, plumber, or HVAC service technician, and earn upwards of $100,000 a year. The deadline to join the piping industry is almost here. Apply today at pipingindustry.com TV. When the power goes out, your life is disrupted. Heat, air conditioning, refrigeration, phones, all gone. Want to take back control? A Generac Home Standby Generator protects your home against power outages every second of every day, all year long, automatically, whether you're home or away. Control your power, control your life with a Generac Home Standby Generator. For a free estimate, call Schneider Sons Electric, 419-691-8284. Beginning of the second quarter, my name's Josh Harris. Alongside me, Dave Cheatham. What's going on? Friday Night Lights, baby. Gotta love it. Main man Lucas on camera. As Rossford stop and climber. Maybe a short loss. Might have got back to the line of scrimmage. <coughs> Rossford's defense down. is stepping it up right now. Get a big stop here. Get this ball back. Yes, they definitely have a lot of momentum going their way after the big stop on defense last time. And uh, touchdown score, Cam Reynolds stopping in for an easy six. That's Klima dropping back. Oh, getting through, and they're going to sack him in the backfield. Got penetration coming from all over. That offensive line didn't know what to do. Plus about a half a yard, maybe one. Yes, one yard. And that's going to bring down fourth and 22 as they're going to bring the kicking team on. As Hunter Mominy. Sorry, that's not Hunter this time. 15, I think. Number 15, that's Zach Weldon. Yep. They changed the kicker. As a nice boot, though. As it drops the 20 and takes a Port Clinton bounce inside the five. And touchdown at about the four. Mark, they're going to mark it at the five. Going to pin Rossford back. 10.32 remaining in the second quarter. I think Sit means Sit of Toledo. Sponsoring these games as well. Rossford's got a way to go, Dave, but after that last drive, I mean, they, they were quick strikes. Right, right. Well, you know they're going to be looking for the long ball right now, so they're going to change it up and try to run some quick quick shots up the middle here, see if they can uh, move the ball that way. And then, uh, like I said, once they start running the ball, they close that down, then you got that deadly connection that went 60 yards last time. We'll see what they can do with this drive. So they got Cam Reynolds off to the right. Two guys keeping an eye on him this time as now they have twins out to both sides. And from the end zone, getting that off and looking down the left sideline and could not connect. As that was Lucas Klotz going down the left sideline. A little overthrown by Krumenacher. Nice little route. Just overshot him a little bit. Bring up second down. Had a little pressure there, too, probably throwing Kramanacher off a little bit. So they wait for the call from the sideline. 15 seconds to work with here. Now we're under 10, getting everybody set. Kramanacher from the gun, little low snap. He's going to take off with it, but may have got back to the line of scrimmage. Is that's going to bring third down along. 
It's tough when you get pinned back there, Dave. Uh, I see that. You know, what the quarterback can do, like I said, another mishap on the snap. You know, just try to get back to the line of scrimmage and uh, take your loss and bring up third and ten here, see what they can do. If I'm pinned back that deep, I'd watch for Court Clinton to bring an extra man. Still waiting for the call from the sideline. They're down to five seconds, and it looks like Rossford's going to take a timeout. We're going to take one with him. We'll be right back here on the Toledo Sports Network. Stop struggling with the big box stores. Choose Gladio. A hardware store gets so much more. Your home improvement answer store. A place to design your interior space. A professional and friendly smiling face. Everything you need for your home. And Gladio is locally owned. You'll be glad to know. Gladio, Gladio Home Center. Wojo's Heating, Air Conditioning, and Plumbing. Quality comfort you can count on since 1967. They're a proud sponsor of Genoa High School Sports and can help you with all your heating, air conditioning, and plumbing needs. Give them a call today at 419-693-3220. And welcome back to Rossford High School. 9.43 remaining in the second quarter. As Port Clinton has Rossford pinned back to their five-yard line in the third and long opportunity. Kromenacher trips out to the right and actually four out to the right now. As, oh, a little pressure from back, but he slips away. Still up on his feet. He's going to get back to the line of scrimmage and picks up about a gain of three or four. Actually five on that one. Wow, I thought he was going to get taken I, down for a sack there. Yeah. Actually, you know, dipped and shook and shaked and actually got positive yards out of that. Yeah, it looked like he was going to be caught in the backfield, and uh, he's just a little slippery fella. He's not really little either. Right. But, but he uh, gave his kicker some room here to try to keep him back and not have good field position here. Oh, as they get through, but gets the kick off. That's a high one. Going to come down about the 45-yard line. As they get outside again. As Marius Pinkleton gets taken down. About the 25-yard line of Rossford. Real good field position to start this drive. Yeah, nice little 20-yard return there. Giving them great field position here. Not exactly what Rossford wanted to do there. But hopefully their defense can come make another stand like they did the last couple. As Port Clinton sets up. Twins wide on each side. And quick slant and could not connect with Manning. Just a little bit outreach. Nice little route there. Had the man beat. Just overshot his receiver. I don't think they need to rush things here. Probably set up with the run to open up that passing lane again. 8.51 left in the second. Colton Kleiman. Quick out to the left as he gets to the outside and gain of about five or six. To bring down second and or third and manageable. Nice blocking there by the the receivers out there to have him get turned the corner a little bit, give him a few extra yards there. Make it manageable now, third and short. That's Klotz with the tackle. Third down and four. Third and four. Can Rossford hold them back? Might be out of field goal range. Not sure. As high snap. Picked up and stopped right at the line of scrimmage. 
by the line of Rossford Bulldogs. Going to bring down fourth and still four. Yeah, they definitely Sport. weren't fool, fooled on that play right there, and they stayed home and played the positions right and got the nice little quick stop. Make up for it in short. As Cooper Stein checks into the game, and they're going to think about it. It's a quick timeout by Port Clinton. We'll take one with them. 8-18 remaining in the second quarter. Be right back here on the Toledo Sports Network. Mike Jamison and Jamison's Mobile Music would like to talk to you about your entertainment needs for your upcoming wedding or special event. For over 25 years, Mike has made wonderful memories one event at a time. Professional sound and lighting and video for your special event. Call us today for an affordable package for your special day. 419-514-1302. Jamison's Mobile Music and Video. Genoa Napa, your local auto parts store, located at State Route 51 in Genoa. It's time to prepare your vehicle for the harsh winter months. At Napa, we have what you need from antifreeze to wipers. Napa know-how. 21971 West State Route 51. Dang, they got to go all the way out to Port Clinton. They got to get up early. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they got to be up at about 5.30, 6. It's approaching. And welcome back to Rossford High School. Port Clinton with a fourth and four. Colton Klima. Oh, and they look to draw him off. But it goes the opposite way as we get a false start by the Redskins. And that might change what they were going to do. Mm -hmm. That was a nice little movement there on the defense there. Acting like they were going to blitz, charging in, and he's got the offensive line to jump, pushing them back. This will be a fourth and long now. Looks like they bring everyone pretty close. They're going to hitch out to the right. Throw across, and it's intercepted by the Bulldogs. What number is that? I can't see. It's so hard to it's see the numbers. Number. Is that eight and seven? <laughs> if it's eight, no, it's number six. Our six. Boy. Cam Reynolds. Damn. Another uh, big play in the end zone for Reynolds. Look at Reynolds playing both sides of the ball right there. I mean, actually the quarterback overshot his receiver there, and Cam Reynolds was right there to intercept the ball in the end zone. Be first and 10 from the 20 for the Rossford Bulldogs. And that's another big stand by the Bulldogs as they've just been bringing their pressure defensively uh, the past few drives. With that first drive, Port Clinton drove down pretty quickly and scored, but Rossford saying, nah, -uh, this is our house. 8-11 remaining in the second quarter. As looks like they're going to stack to the left and right. Kromanacher in. Oh, decides to run. Goes to the right. Has some room. Still going. Looking for a block up the right side. He's up to about the 36, 37-yard line. I love what we're seeing right now. They're spreading it out. Quarterback keeper up the middle. Got the blocks. Busted it outside. And moving the chains. I thought he might be stopped in the uh, backfield there as he had three of them closing down on him, but he just slipped away, got to the outside, got a good block, and picked up the first down. Yep, he never panicked, kept the feet moving, you know, kept going, busted outside, and nice little run. Stacked to the right and left again. And going with a quick hitch out to the right, and picking up about five yards is the Bulldogs. Bring up second down and second and six, actually. Right now, Rossford's got great momentum going right now. They were pinned deep, kicked it off. Great stop, pick off in the end zone. Right now, they're moving the ball. Second down and six. Ever since that first uh, Redskin possession, Rossford is pretty much taking control of this game, both sides of the field. As they hand that off, goes to the oh, and stopped right at the point of contact. Taken down in the backfield. That's going to be a loss of a couple. Three now. Number eight. That was a great, great stop by Zink. He had a man on his heels, actually being taken down and made the tackle at the same time. Hard work out there by the young man. He's a 6'4 senior. 
Kromenacher from the gun. Twins out both sides. Drops back, looking downfield. Has a man open, and it's a little low. Did he catch it or no? They're going to say caught by the left wow. line judge, and that's going to give them a first down. To me, it looked like that ball hit the I ground. I thought it hit the ground too, but um, the refs on the field saw it different, and that's going to keep this drive alive for the Bulldogs. Way to get underneath there. He put the ball where only the receiver could get it, and he made a great catch, moving the chains. First down, Rossford in Portland Territory. I'm sitting here waiting for the uh, the flag to be thrown for <laughs> the replay. <laughs> Unfortunately, Lucas, we don't have that. Was it a catch? <laughs> he probably had a better look at it than us. And that one is going to be bobbled. Still thrown down to his man, Cam Reynolds. And gets a contact. It's going to be caught. And he's going to get the pass interference. They're going to decline that one. And Cam Reynolds... Once again, hooking up. A nice pack from Krobenacker. Krobenacker puts air underneath that ball where the receiver could go up. Actually, the defensive player didn't even know the ball was in the air until the last second. Made, contact. Made the contact, drew the flag, still caught the ball. Great concentration. First down, Rossford. That was about a 28 yard hookup. Rossford driving with 624 remaining in the second quarter. So they're gonna have this at about the 13 yard line. And oh, and just slips back up. Maybe got back to the line of scrimmage as he had nowhere to go. And trips right. Twins to the left. Tried to run it up the middle. Did not fool Port Clinton. Nice little tackle. Short game, maybe got back to the line of scrimmage. Yeah, the Fort Clinton line just got through the offensive line and stopped them. Bringing up second down and 10. The clock is still running as we get close to the end of the second quarter. Yeah, so a quick screen there and could not get away from Gage Floro. As he had that sniffed out, that's going to drop him back for a loss of about two and a half yards. Nice little screen play drawn up, but the defense wasn't fooled. Nice two defensive stops here for Port Clinton in the red zone. Let's see what they can do here on third down. This will be a third and 13. And this will be a big stand here for the Redskins. Motion out to the right. Kromenecker holds on to it. Gets a block, gets up, and gets to about the 10 and the 9 yard line. Picking up some of those yards. We're going to fall short from the first down. And going to bring up fourth down. The play definitely was a draw for the quarterback up the middle. He let the play design. A little shake back here and there. Nice little couple yards. As Rossford's going to stay on the field. Seven six, Port Clinton still on top. Rossford gonna take a timeout, and yeah, we'll take one with them. We'll be right back here on the Toledo Sports Network. Genoa Jeweler, six eleven Main Street in Genoa, has been serving the area with quality jewelry and gifts for over nineteen years. Specializing in gold and silver repairs, Frank Comeyes has been a goldsmith for over thirty years. Our selection of pulsar watches, precious moments figurines, reflections beads, seraphim classics, and quality stellar rings, all at a price you can afford. Genoa Jewelers also buys gold and silver and has the perfect gift for that someone special. Stop out today at Genoa Jewelers, six eleven Main Street in Genoa. <laughs> Who would want to hire a baby? Well, this ain't fair. <laughs> and welcome back to Rossford High School. As we got a fourth and six, as Rossford trying to keep this drive alive. They got twins out to the right. And they're going to fake the handoff, and a little pressure. Rolls out to the right, comes back across, hard pass. 
floater, and that is caught by the Bulldogs. Wow, quarterback kept the ball, shook off the defender, rolling to his right, threw back to his left, floated it up enough for the receiver to get it. Touchdown, Rossford. I believe that was Cam Reynolds again, just the man he trusts. He threw it up there, made it a 50-50 ball, and Cam Reynolds came down with it, and that's gonna give them a 12-7 lead. As they're getting the call from the silence, I don't think they're gonna kick this one. They're gonna go for two to try to make it a seven point lead late in this second quarter. Rossford with their first lead of the ball game. It's hard to do throwing cross back your body like that. Nice play by the quarterback. As he rolls out to his left. And oh, stretching out, but could not come down with that. Well, it's Reynolds again. And it's going to be 12-7. 4.13 remaining in the second quarter. We'll be right back here on the Toledo Sports Network. Conveniently located in downtown Rossford, Ohio, the law firm of Heben, Summer, and Murphy is there to serve your estate, business, and litigation needs. Heben, Summer, and Murphy is a proud sponsor of Rossford Athletics. Contact the law firm of Heben, Summer, and Murphy at 419-662-3100 or on the net at www.hsm. Dash law.net. Go Bulldogs. Moe's Place, downtown Rossford, has the best burgers in town and much, much more. Stop by for their famous Flaming Moe Burger. Moe's Place, proud to bring you Rossford High School Sports. Welcome back to Rossford High School as the hometown Bulldogs take the lead 12-7 on another hookup by Cromanacker to Cam Reynolds. Some more Ozzy playing over the loudspeaker. Jackson Murtha. The renovation over here is not keeping the fans away. No, it is loud in the stadium tonight as he squibs it. Smart play there, except it's gonna go out of bounds. But after the last two returns, that still might be better uh, field position for the Rossford Bulldogs. Yes, I agree. Last few times they were starting in Rossford territory. Take the penalty here, giving the ball at the 35-yard line. Somewhere around there. See what they can do with it. I remember a couple years back, Ohio State, they had such a good return team. They started purposely kicking it off out of bounds because they'd give up less yards because they'd return to at least the 40 every time. When you got that tent like there, you know, it just makes it scary for the kicker. I don't know who to kick it to. Uh, it's Port Clinton has 413 left in this first half to try to get back on the board after that first initial drive where they scored a nice touchdown off a catch and pass. They haven't been able to really do much. A couple big stands by Rossford deep in their own zones, but. Uh, that time they power it straight up the middle and getting up to the 45 yard line and close to a first down. In fact, they do get it. Ian kept the legs chopping, arm tackles are breaking, up the middle he went, moving the chains, first down for Port Clinton. Looks like one of the linemen injured on the play for Port Clinton. And then Caleb Kircher. You know, this early in the season, you know, is it cramps? Is it not enough water? You know, early in the season here, we've had hot days. Today wasn't too bad. Nice little breezy day for Friday night lights. But still, you don't get enough water in you. You got to get those cramps and everything. Folks, we'd like to Looks like uh, Kutcher is back up on his feet and head to his, uh, toward the sideline. Definitely a good sign there for Portland. That's one of their big linemen, too. They got a really big O line. Look at that right tackle there. Big boy. Hey, that's a high oh, oh, and they lose the ball, and then coming up with it is. Rosper. Bulldog said, and yes, they get it on the fumble. A little miscommunication there by the quarterback and the running back. Bobbled the ball, could not handle it. 
Indeed, Rossford coming up with the ball. Number 11 comes up with the ball. So they got just under four minutes to try to extend this lead. As Kromenacker happily coming back on the field, giving his defense a little bit of a rest. Definitely plenty of time on the clock here. See if Rossford can punch another one in here before we go into halftime. Definitely got the momentum going this whole first half. Like I said, they started out good, scored on them early, and they haven't had an answer since. Going off the left hash, trips out to right. Cam Reynolds alone to the left. He's looking at him, but comes back. He's, he's still going to go to Reynolds deep, and that's going to be underthrown and picked off by the Redmen. I'm sorry, the Redskins. Quarterback moved his feet, broke away, put it up for the receiver to get it, but over actually undershot him this time and gave it right back to him. He was looking for Reynolds the entire time, and uh, he wasn't going to look anywhere else. Well, that's what you do on a turnover like that. You try to take a shot downfield. They did it, and unfortunately, it didn't work out for him. However, that is going to pin the Redskins back about the 10-yard line, so they do have a ways to go. 346 remaining, only uh, lost about 12 seconds. It was a flag on the play. They didn't move him back for something. I did not see what it was. Must have been on, uh, probably holding on the Rossford Bulldogs and they're like, no, we'll just take the ball. <laughs> if they get set up, Colton Klima. Drops back, quick short pass, and met behind the line of scrimmage by the Bulldogs. Nice little screen pass, but the Bulldogs were not fooled. As soon as he caught it, he was tackled immediately for a loss. Lost of about three on the play. Clock still running. Yeah, I'm really impressed with the Rossford defense today. Stepping up, making the big tackles. Yep, everybody's staying home, playing their assignments, and uh, Rosper's D is looking pretty good right now. Okay, so they fumble it again in the backfield, and that's going to go another loss as Klima just falls on it. Which is probably a smart play. Give them an opportunity to play another down. Going to bring up third and 17. And now the quarterback, running back, having a little miscommunication. Fumbled it again, this time they didn't lose it. Bring up third and 17 for Port Clinton. Big stop here for Rossford. So I'm sure they want another opportunity to score before the end of the first half. Climb up from his own end zone and they run that right up the gut. Getting back to about the 10 yard line, the original line of scrimmage. That's gonna bring up fourth and 10. That's all you can do at that time. Enough to get the ball to the line of scrimmage, give your kicker some room to try to pin Rossford in their own zone. As Rossford bringing on the return team. It's hard to see the numbers. <laughs> As that was a high snap. 15 again. Low kick. And picked up about the 40-yard line. Oh, and drilled as soon as he caught it. And Rossford with an opportunity with 150 remaining. They'll get in the two-minute drill. 12-7, Rossford still on top. Actually, it was a good play there by that Rossford Bulldogs. If he would have let that ball go, they would have bounced all the way past the 50. Could have went all the way down to the 40. So, well, I think they learned that this guy who's, who's been kicking... Most of this game has been getting some very favorable bounces. Yeah. The player took a hit, but he saved about 20 yards for Rossford here. So uh, under two minutes, like you said, the two-minute drill here. See if they can put some points up here before halftime. Yeah, he's waiting for the call from the ref to give him the whistle to go. And they get the call from the sideline. Trips out to the left. Alone to the right, Cam Reynolds. And they're going to go to the left. Nice block there. As he's going to try to hold on to it. And he gets dragged down behind the line of scrimmage for a loss of about two. Clock still running. 138 remaining. As they got to get these calls in a little bit quicker. Looks like they're going to send trips out to the right this time. 
Leaving Cam Reynolds alone. We'll give him a little bit of space. Dropping back Kromanacker. And can't find anyone but gets some blocks. Still looking downfield, going deep, has a man. It's overthrow, but there was some contact. Where is the flag on that? I think they're saying it was probably uncatchable because it did look like he wasn't going to catch up to that anyways. That was, a, that was a close play, yes. Yeah, I'm making the motion for a flag there, right, too. I'm but biting my tongue on that one. I, I thought there was some contact there. And, but their feet could have got tangled, too. You know, the officials right there on the play. We're way up here. We can't even see their numbers. So. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't that the truth. So we apologize for that if we are mixing up some of these names. I did stop the clock with 105. Quarterback did a good job, though, avoiding the sack, trying to shoot downfield, and just overshot his receiver. Put a couple short uh, passes in there, I think, will help the curves as he goes out to the right. And trying to hook up, and does! 24-yard line. As that's going to temporarily stop the clock as he gets a first down. 57 seconds remaining. He's looking left, rode right, found his open receiver, hit him for enough to move the chains. First down, Bulldogs. As the clock is running again, Kromanacker from the gun trips out left, rolls to the left, and that's going to go just a little short. Need a strong arm for that one. Yes. Long throw for a couple of yard completion there. <laughs> but that falls incomplete. Stopping the clock with 44 seconds. Second down and 10. A little bit more time to set this play up. As they got twins out both sides. Man in motion out to the left, give him a third receiver, and getting through the line, and a quick screen, smart play there, as he gets up the center, and goes to the right, gets out, first down, still on his feet, and going out of bounds at about the seven yard line. That was a nice drawn up play there. Uh, the line act like they weren't gonna block or nothing, let him drop right through, and dump pass right over to the top, and little man ran it, moved the chains, first down, and go. Oh. For Rossford here with 35 seconds left, plenty of time. That was a smart screen. You almost wonder what the defense is thinking when they realize three of their guys just got through the line very quickly. And then, all and of then it's a like, little uh -oh. dump pass going over their head, and they're like, ah! Well designed play. That did stop the clock with 35 seconds left. Ross for still on top, 12 to seven, late in the second quarter. As they are driving inside the 10, as it's gonna bring up first and goal. Kromanacker, looking left. Man in motion, and does he get away? No, but he breaks through the tackle and falls forward to the three-yard line and almost taken off the referee was number two, Sydney for Port Clinton, and one of the Redskins are now down. The timeout we will take a quick break. Be right back here on the Toledo Sports Network. Adler Transmissions and Brake Shop, 106 South Main, Wabridge, Ohio. Your automotive's parts and accessories number one store. Your first stop for quality transmission repair for over 25 years. Adler's Transmission and Brake Shop has been providing Walbridge and all of Northwestern Ohio with quality service. Adler's Transmission and Brakes, 419-666-1010. Proud sponsor of high school sports in Northwestern Ohio. If you're looking for fantastic Italian food along with old world hospitality and family traditions, D'Astasio's is your place. Located in Elmore, Ohio, Coach Mike D'Astasio and his family have become a fast favorite with pizza, lasagna, and other great old world Italian dishes. Stop out today or call them at 419-862-0404. D'Astasio's, 351 Rice Street in Elmore, Ohio. Got injured on the play for Port Clinton as he's going to be picked up. <laughs> picked up and carried off. In style. As you got a big cheer from the well, fans that's what you out were saying, here. That one lineman there, number 77, he's, he's a, a big, big boy. boy. Yeah. He does it all. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, we're going to have another timeout here. And Rossford's going to think this one over. Is your roof past its peak? It's not always this easy to tell. From rooftops to foundations, Seagate is a trusted A-plus BBB accredited business and a Platinum Preferred Contractor. As a Platinum Preferred Contractor, we offer one of the country's best roofing warranties, the Owens Corning True Protection 50-Year Warranty. That's material and labor. We've earned your trust for over 30 years, Toledo. Call Seagate now. Graymont in Genoa, producers of doclamide, lime, and hydrate, serving the community for over 90 years. The plant currently has 60 employees. The safety and development of these employees is a focus for your plant. Over 80% of our employees currently live within 11 miles of the plant. Graymont. For more information about this company, you can check us out on the web at www.graymont.com. Uh, you can always give Sipping City of Toledo a call, 419-666-3647. As back to action here, Kromenacher with the Twins out each side. And quick shot. Yes, down! And he found his man for a touchdown. Nice poise there by the quarterback. His end opened up. Hit him in the end zone for the touchdown. Quick hit right at the goal line. And just walking his way in. Rossford now taking an 18-7 lead. As after the first touchdown, they missed the extra point and failed on the attempt at the two-point con conversion. They're going to try this one again. Give them a 12-point lead. As that ball's down, up, and this time it is through the uprights. 16 seconds remaining in this one. 19-7. Hometown Rossford Bulldogs on top. We'll be right back here on the Toledo Sports Network. Do you ever drive around the neighborhoods just to look at the houses? I like spotting the ones that have been around the longest because they remind me of the amazing legacy I'm part of. Hi, I'm Marty Sutter, president of Genoa Bank. For over 110 years, our bank has helped families buy and build their homes. And all that time, one thing hasn't changed. At Genoa Bank, we believe that when we put the mortgage needs first, the rest takes care of itself. Genoa Bank, taking your banking needs personally. Blackberry Corner on the corner of 579 and Elliston Road is a proud sponsor of Genoa football and has the best burgers, chicken, and pizza. And you know the pizza. Everyone knows the pizza. Blackberry Corner also has charbroiled pork ribs and Jim's famous chicken dinners. Whether it's appetizers, pizza, or a full dinner, the great folks at Blackberry Corner can help fill you up and save you money. Defense has been holding up pretty good, so we'll see. And welcome back to Rossford High School as Rossford has just taken a 19-7 lead on the third touchdown pass of this game for Rossford. As here's the kickoff, a squib down the left side. They're going to let it go. It's going to stay inbounds and falling on it is the Redskins. As 16 seconds left, they're going to try to put something together here at the end of the first half from about the 26 yard line nice little squib kick didn't give him a chance to run it back and see if this defense can hold here with 16 seconds left until halftime now we were just talking about it during the break what we would do there if you're gonna kick it out of bounds again or hope that they can't return it is they've had some pretty good returns so far this game Portland but it looks like they're gonna take the uh, knee and go into the first half, Nin with the trailing 19-7, as the hometown Rossford Bulldogs are on top. As this first half winds down, we will be right back with the bands here on the Toledo Sports Network.
Education projects. With great specials and those hard to find plants, shrubs, and trees, Bench's Greenhouse and Nursery takes the guesswork out of planning and maintaining your favorite garden and more. Bench's Greenhouse and Nursery. Call them today, 419-862-3596. electrical work, you want to make sure it's done right the first time. NECA contractors employ the most highly trained and reliable workforce in the industry, which means quality and safety. We can help you get the job done on time and on budget. The right connection you need. We're the people at NECA. People with the right connection. Hey, it's Bob France. Are your clubs cleaned up and ready to go? Then let's talk about Brandywine, the only all-inclusive private country club in Northwest Ohio. You know, people are always taking all-inclusive vacations to save money. Well, at Brandywine, you're on a constant all-inclusive vacation. Unlimited golf, cart, pool, fitness, and all the social events, including the amazing pool parties. It's so refreshing to play a private club where there's no surprises. The new Brandywine Country Club featuring 18 holes of Arthur Hills Design Championship Golf on a layout that is spectacular. Par 72 now, three par fives on the front nine total yardage of 6639 a challenge for great golfers but fun and playable for the rest of us too and one of the best things about joining the all-inclusive private brandywine club is that you never have to wait for leagues to get out of your way because there's only one league at brandywine yours and don't forget about the amazing restaurant champions bar and grill reopened in the summer of last year and is now open to the public call 419-865-2393 for all the details and if you join by may 31st they'll waive the initiation fee join me on the course and at the club this year at the all-new all-inclusive brandywine country club
Am I sleeping good or is she ready to burst? At Genoa Custom Interiors, we provide quality service at competitive prices. 
We offer a variety of flooring and interior design options customized to fit your needs. From carpets to hardwood, no matter what type of flooring you desire, we have what you want. Our designers will show you how to set up furniture, flooring, window treatments. Contact us today for a free estimate for any of our interior design, installation, and services. Genoa Custom Interiors. Glad to help. See you soon. Hi, I'm Marty Sutter, president of Genoa Bank. At Genoa Bank, we believe there's more to a financial institution than the transaction. There's the relationship. Taking your banking needs personally is our top priority. We offer many helpful financial options for local families, farmers, and small businesses. Because we're locally owned, we take the time to get to know you personally. You might say we're just a loan call away. Genoa Bank, taking your banking needs personally.
Genoa Bank helped finance my great-grandfather's farm equipment. Genoa Bank helped my grandfather with a small business loan. My parents' home loan was from Genoa Bank. And I managed my free checking account online with Genoa Bank. Since 1902, Genoa Bank has helped generations of families. Many things have changed over the years, but our commitment to our customers has not. We care about their needs and the good of our community. At Genoa Bank, we take your banking needs personally. Stop by any of our eight locations today. On the job for you for over 100 years. You need a career. You need a future. Local 8 can help you make it happen. Join the men and women who build our community. Become a part of a proud tradition. Build your career. Build your future with the brothers and sisters of the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers, Local Union 8. We're on the job for you. We're on the job for you. A rewarding career begins with an apprenticeship in the piping industry. Our state-of-the-art training facility, combined with on-the-job training side-by-side -side with a journeyman, delivers the experience needed to become a professional plumber, steam fitter, or HVAC service mechanic. Avoid costly tuitions and student loans. Earn a competitive wage and college credit in an exciting trade. We are the Northwest Ohio piping industry, building the future through dedication, knowledge, and expertise. At Maumee Bay Turf Center, we're on your team. Providing quality stadium surfaces for area high school stadiums and the preferred product of the NFL and supplier to the last four Super Bowls and the NFL Hall of Fame. Your sports field construction specialist and a proud sponsor of high school sports in Northwestern Ohio. Seventeen for 195 yards, three TDs as long as for 195. Yep. Three TDs. Twelve for seventeen. Twelve for 195. You said. Yeah. Seven in the third. Who did they play tonight? Um, oh, who is it? Oh, it was Oak Harbor, isn't it? I think it was Oak Harbor. I think so. How do you say their quarterback's name? Which one? Miles Larson. 
Klima? Is Klima. that it, Klima? Yeah. He, he was hooking up with Stein pretty good, wasn't he? That was Stein. Stein is running back, so he's about 10 yards carry. Well, 11, 11, 2. Jump up and get down. Jump, jump, everybody jump. I saw your house like John McEnroe. You try to transform from stock in the hole. Word to your mom, I came to drop bombs. Shotgun. If you do, you're a fool for that. And we've been live for the last 10 minutes listening to Dave jamming out on the uh, radio. <laughs> And we'd like to welcome you all back here to Rossford High School. My name is Josh Harris. Alongside me, Dave Cheatham on camera. Lucas uh, Rossford coming into the second half. 19-7 lead, and they are pumped up. And Port Clinton uh, won the toss, elected to receive, as they're going to have to kick this one off to start the second half. It'll be interesting to see. Grandma Necker here was 12 for 17, 195 yards, three TDs, and had that long one for 65 yards. He hooked up with Reynolds. Reynolds has four receptions for 102 yards for the first half. Three of those were touchdowns, right? Yes. Manning had that one nice 52-yard reception there for uh, the Redskins. As the Redskins kick this one off to begin the second half. Picked up about the 15 yard line, right up the middle, still got some daylight, cutting it back to the right, up to the 40, crossing over to the 45 yard line to begin this first drive of the second half for the Bulldogs. Nice blocking there on the special team, ran it up the gut, seen his little lane, bounced it outside. Nice little return here for the Bulldogs to start the second half. Yeah, Kromanacker, excited to get back out there on offense. He's been uh, doing a good job keeping the defense on the sideline, getting them rested up. And they've had a pretty, a couple pretty good stands in that first half. Scrumman Acker set with twins to the right. As they're going to run that first play. Might have got back to the line of scrimmage. They're going to get him for a loss of about a one yard. They're recapping some of the first half. Colts had four carries for 65 yards. Killemeyer had two carries for 21 yards. They had a total offense of 195 yards for the first half. Redskin had a total yards of 63. Those passing yards were amazing there for Krumanaka, too. As the sun is finally set here at Rossford High School. And send a man in motion out to the left. He's still wide open. Keep an eye on him, but he's going to go straight downfield. He's going to get. Oh, it was. Knocked down nicely by. He Clark. caught that. Did he? Yeah, he wow. caught that. Wow, I missed. That. Yeah, he caught it. He put it down where he only could get it. He had a nice. He had a guy open over here in the flat. Looked him off. They actually didn't even look at him and took a shot downfield and he connected with them, moving the chains. Nice little play there for this drive for Rossford. Apologize for that. I just wiped off my glasses to make sure next time I get a better look at that. As Rossford now down to about the 33, 34 yard line. I'm sorry, 24 yard line. Fox down to 10. Rolls out to the left. 
He's keeping this all the way. Cuts back to the right. And he's just looking for one more block. Gets it. Cuts back inside and taken down after about a gain of three. That was a design play by the quarterback there. Tucked it away, broke to the left. No lanes there. Cut back to the right. Went up the middle. And then, like he said, he did all that running around for two-yard gain. Hey, he got some exercise, too. Uh-oh. Penalty's going to push him back, though. Yeah, that happens when uh, you're looking for that extra block. And Especially when you reverse field there, cut back the other way, then you got all the uh, defensive players and their backs are exposed. Yeah, and, and they're not even expecting it, and then they got to block the other way. And yep. next thing you know, you got a flag. Easy way to get a block in the back. And that's going to keep them at first down, but it's going to be a first and 23 instead of a second and manageable seven. With the 15-yard chop blocking panel. That's the second one of the game for Bulldogs. Yeah, he's rolling out to the left again. Design run. Gets a block this time, but breaking through the block was number 23, Hunter Nolan. As he gets a stop on Kromenecker. Kromenecker, he had... Uh, 43 yards rushing, only had 14 for a loss for a net total of 29 yards rushing for the first half. Fort Clinton's coming out here defense, strong defensively, and outside of that long pass, they've managed to keep this run game down. As this time he drops back to pass, looking around, got some pressure, stepping up into the pocket, and taken down by a couple of the Fort Clinton Redskins. Right there, you got a Put it on the DBs there. They stayed with their receivers, had no open man, gave the line an opportunity to swarm on that quarterback and take him down. And this is going to be a third and very long. Ball is now back on the 38. Sorry, I read the scoreboard. It's actually on the 43. There it is. Twins out to each side. They're only going to rush three. As they're expected pass, he's going to jump up in the pocket. Cuts back to the left, gets a block, gets away. Still running down to the 28-yard line. As Krummenacker making things happen, making it better manageable field position. Nice little 20-yard run there. I mean, bringing it manageable now. It's still fourth down, fourth and about 15. And they're not even going to think about punting the ball. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. Just going to try to maybe pin them back a couple more yards if they can. I, I think they're going to probably look for Cam Reynolds on a pass here. So you only got twins out to the right. As... Kromenecker still looking down as he still has time rolling back to his left and he's going to be brought down at about the 30 yard line as it's going to be a loss of another one yard. Another sack there for the Redskins and they're going to take Ball over after the turnover on downs. For the Redskins, Gunner right there, down Port Clinton, Clinton, they had that first play where they ran it down or they had that nice little pass, put them in their red zone and then penalties hurt Rossford, pushed them back and then they made it manageable and nice little stop there by uh, Port Clinton. Now they're gonna turn over on downs and see what they can do. 7.23 remaining in the third quarter. Rossford still on top, 19 to seven as the Redskins have an opportunity to cut that lead down on their first drive. As Klima and the rest of his squad get the call as they head on in here. As they're playing Who Let the Dogs Out over the PA system. Wonder if they're referring to the Bulldogs. <laughs> 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 Dave quit his day job to come over here and bring that one to you. As they have yet to set the ball down for play. There might be a issue with the time clock. Take this opportunity to 
Talk about some of our sponsors. Yes, the great sponsors here. UA50, IBEW, Mintaz. One of our main contributors here to the Toledo Sports Network. Thank you all for all you do. Helping bring these productions to all the great fans. As that was bobbled. And they're going to say incomplete on the pass. Yeah, bobbling it, never really had control. And then time the roster player got there, the ball hit the ground, incomplete pass. This roster was hoping there was an incomplete pass with the uh, a fumble. He tried walking away with that ball. Clock stopped, 7.35. Colt Klamath, single back, hands it off. And he runs up the right side, and he's got a lane. He's going for the first down across the 50 to the 50. I'm sorry, the 43-yard line. Nice little run there, a little high snap. Quarterback kept it, handed it off. He kept the legs chopping down the sideline. He went, moving the chains, first down. That was Jonah Sidney with the run there. Big pickup. A nice... Uh, Tailwind breeze flowing through here right now after the uh, hot last couple days. Feels good. Plus, we love bringing this action to you as we have a quick pass out to the left and brought down after a gain of about a half a yard. And bring up second down for the Redskins. Number three is the ball carrier for the Redskins. Chad good to see Jackson. Port Clinton right there, finally moving the ball, getting some action going. Running the ball, passing the ball, Redux kind of mixing it up down. here. Yeah, Rossford's been doing a good job with their stops ever since the uh, first drive of the game. Um, Port Clinton made some adjustments there at halftime. Is there about 35 yards plus on this drive? And quick pass out to the left, trying to get past some of the defenders. Gets a gain of about three yards on the play. And it's going to be a third down and long for the Redskins. Probably expect them to pass on this down. Rossford looking to get a good stop here to try to get this ball back. See if they can add to their lead. Port Clinton said it's third down. So we're going to set do. single back. As he drops back to pass, and Rossford trying to get to him, and he gets an open man down the field, down to the five, hit still on his feet, and that's a touchdown. Like I said there. Is that Zink with the touchdown there, reception? Nice little poise there from the quarterback. Looking downfield. Receiver had a, at least three steps on him. He dropped a dime right over the shoulder, broke a tackle into the end zone. I believe that was Gunner Zink. Making this a 19-13 game here in the third quarter. There's Colton Klima. Found his man wide open downfield. And trotted into the end zone. Hunter Mamani. Adding the extra point here. And no, it's going to sail to the left. And that's how this one's going to end. 19 13 here in third quarter, 545 remaining. We'll be right back here on the Toledo Sports Network. Tires play an important role in your vehicle's handling, comfort, and fuel efficiency. So when it comes to maintaining them, you need a name you can trust. At Dan Ars Automotive, our expert staff will help you find the perfect tires to keep your vehicle at peak performance. We have a huge selection of top brand tires for you to choose from. Having issues with your tires? We'll diagnose the problem and get you back on the road. Visit Dan Ars Automotive today for tires from a name you can trust. From the kitchens of Italy to you, Arturo's Pizza Kitchen is the home of authentic Italian food. As one of the oldest independently owned pizzerias in Toledo, Arturo's Pizza Kitchen has been serving since 1988. With pizza, salads, award-winning subs, chicken chunks and wings, mom's own lasagna recipe, and our famous cheese sticks, we have it all. Never frozen, always homemade. Arturo's Pizza Kitchen. 
Hungry? Call Arturo's, 419-698-1641. Come back in three, two. And welcome back to Rossford High School. As Port Clinton cuts into the lead a little bit, 19-13. Little mishap on the extra point. Keeping this a six point ball game. There's a low squib kick here. The Port Clinton picked up by Rossford as they run it off to the left. Got around the man, but cutting back and taken down by number 19, Max Brenner. As he got hurt after that hit. And we're going to have an injury timeout. We'll take one with them. 5.37 remaining in the third quarter, 19.13. We'll be right back here on the Toledo Sports Network. Conveniently located in downtown Rossford, Ohio, the law firm of Heben, Summer, and Murphy is there to serve your estate, business, and litigation needs. Heben, Summer, and Murphy is a proud sponsor of Rossford Athletics. Contact the law firm of Heben, Summer, and Murphy at 419-662-3100 or on the net at www.hsm-law.net. Go Bulldogs! Moe's Place, downtown Rossford, has the best burgers in town and much, much more. Stop by for their famous Flaming Moe Burger, Moe's Place. Proud to bring you Rossford High School Sports. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back as we had an injury timeout there. Rossford player is up and back on his feet. Kromanacker working from the gun as takes the handoff. Quick flip over and picked up. Cam Reynolds, he's down. He's got no one in front. Down to the 30, 25, 20. One man to beat, and he's in the end zone. Cam Reynolds. That was a nice little touch pass by that quarterback. Dropped it right over the shoulder. Defensive player couldn't get it, and you know Reynolds making it happen. Taking it all the way down into the end zone yeah. for the Bulldogs. And that's the fourth time they have hooked up for a TD in this one as Port Clinton just can't stop Reynolds. Only one of those balls was a 50-50, and Reynolds still came down with it. But Port Clinton has to answer on defense. Oh, but all that action is going to be thrown right out the wayside because we have a flag on the play. And I did not see that. I didn't either. A face mask, maybe, or something? I did not see the call. We'll see. Let's we'll see how far they mark it off. That's a better idea. As Rusford coach is not happy right now. I mean, that play was so quick. How could you even have time for a penalty? An eligible receiver downfield? Yeah. How? I mean, he... Someone just went. Huh. I don't know. It could have been away from the play. Rossford not happy about that. Is they're going to take six points off the board. And that's going to avoid that 70 yard scamper into the end zone. I was just about to say that's going to put him almost 200 yards of receiving yards, but we'll see what happens here. Well, maybe tack on another 10 here. Romanacker from the gun. Man in motion out to the right. Going right back to Cam as he scampers out of bounds. And complaining about the hit as after he was out of bounds, the uh, defender tried uh, pulling him down while he was out of bounds. I believe that was Jonas Sidney on the tackle. A six, seven yard gain there. Make it second and manageable. Twins out to the right. And man in motion. Looking left. And just gets away. Cuts back to the left. Happy to get back to about the line of scrimmage. Maybe got a gain of one. That's going to be third down in about four. That time, Port Clinton stayed home. Everybody filled their spots. Nowhere to go. He had to tuck it, run it. Like you said, barely got back to the line of scrimmage. Going to make third and five. Number 60 for the Redskins, Tyler and Brady. I was waiting 
the call. Bowman actually finally gets that. Port Clinton only going to rush three with trips out to the right. Kromanacker rolling to the right, looks back left. No, keeps going to the right. He's going to run, take off. No, only about a yard, and that's going to fall short, bringing him down to a fourth down. Decision time for the Bulldogs. Looks like they're sending in their kicking team. Yeah, that unfortunate penalty hurt the Bulldogs there. And Port Clinton was able to hold, forcing the Bulldogs to punt. If I was Kromanecker, though, I'd keep going back to Reynolds. They have not an had an answer for him today. And back to punt. Good kick there. That's high. And it's going to take a Rossford. Bounces it. Oh, it ended up hitting off of one of the Rossford Bulldogs and bouncing a little bit more forward. And that's going to be down at about the 22-23 yard line. As we have a change of possession, we'll take a break here. 3.43 remaining in the third quarter, 19-13. Bulldogs on top. This is the Toledo Sports Network. Adler Transmissions and Brake Shop, 106 South Main, Walbridge, Ohio. Your automotive parts and accessories number one store. Your first stop for quality transmission repair for over 25 years. Adler's Transmission and Brake Shop has been providing Walbridge and all of Northwestern Ohio with quality service. Adler's Transmission and Brakes, 419-666-1010. Proud sponsor of high school sports in Northwestern Ohio. The middle and falling forward. Getting an extra three yards after the point of contact. Nice there, you keep the legs of chomping, moving that line. A nice fault for those two, three yards that he got. Make it second and seven. Clock still rolling, 316 remaining in the third quarter. Stands are full here at Rossford High School. As it's their home opener. I love seeing the support as Port Clinton hands that off to the right. Stopped by the Bulldogs after a gain of about one or two. It's going to bring up third and long. Rossford standing up to that Port Clinton line. As it's been tail of this day, third down for Port Clinton a lot. They've only managed to score twice on Rossford. Yeah, Rossford's defense has been playing pretty good here. And yet he had to watch the screen there. They knew and, and and he's still moving, going back to the left, cutting back, and finally taken down at about the 41-yard line. And look at that. Rossford gets the commentator jinx. <laughs> as soon as you say they're doing good, and all of a sudden, Port Clinton gets a nice little dump pass up the middle, moving the chains into Rossford territory. So I guess I'll just stay silent the rest of the time. And <laughs> Dave Cheatham with the rest of the call. <laughs> He's shaking his head now. He's like, nope. Nope, you didn't have the baby yet, so I don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> My wife, she's listening. She's like, uh, he's not the one having the baby. I am. Uh -oh. Yes. No he bobbled the ball. There Still is. going downfield, has a man, unfortunately underthrown. Oh, and in and out of hands of the defender as he dropped that interception. Probably took his eyes off the ball looking to see where he was going to run, and that falls incomplete. Redskins well, definitely reverse. caught a break there. That should have been picked heading the other way. Unfortunately, it hit the ground. Bring up second down. That happens. When you see a ball just coming in your hand sometimes, you start licking your chops, looking the other way, and you just take your eyes off the ball a little bit and keeping the drive alive for the Redskins. As this time they hand the ball off, going right up the middle, and he's got a hole. Cutting it back to the left, getting to the outside, still going on his feet. 10-5, touchdown, Redskins. Just like that, the Redskins are back in this game. Nice little run there up the middle. Broken arm tackle. 
Broke it to the outside, into the end zone. Touchdown, Port Clinton. Just like that, we have a tie ball game with the extra point to come. Let's see if they go with the extra point. They missed the first one after the first drive. Looks like they are going to attempt it. A 20 yarder. Hunter Mamani. As that one is up. And up through the uprights. Port Clinton back on top, 20 to 19, 135 remaining in the third quarter. We'll be right back here on the Toledo Sports Network. Now's the time to join the Northwest Ohio piping industry. If you have a high school diploma or GED, are a high school senior currently enrolled in a vocational program, or have a college degree, sign up now for our apprenticeship program. There's never been a better time to start an exciting career as a welder, pipe fitter, plumber, or HVAC service technician, and earn upwards of $100,000 a year. The deadline to join the piping industry is almost here. Apply today at pipingindustry.com slash TV. Welcome back to Rossford High School as Port Clinton back on top after a big run. Scampering into the end zone. It's 20 to 19. As Port Clinton about to kick off in 40. And this one is a high line drive. Pick up around the 15. Cuts back to the left and back up the middle. And down to about the 35 yard line. Nice little run there. Give the Rossford uh, an opportunity to hear to see if they can answer back. A minute 27 here left in the third quarter. Trailing by one. Yeah, they got a decent field position. Start this drive. Just shy of the 35 yard line. They just need to stick to their game. I'm sure Cromanacker is going to be looking for Reynolds again. Roster's playing good right now. They just had that one penalty that hurt them on that great play that should have went for 70 yards, but keep their composure here. Keep trips doing what they're doing. Trips out to the right. Crumman Eric back, looking right. And going to do a screen pass again. Can he get past the block? Yes. And he's down the sideline and a hit. Stayed inbounds. He's down about the 44-yard line. And that's going to be up second and very short. Knee must have hit the ground first there. I thought he might have been close to the first down, but the official says they spot him just a yard short. Going to bring up second and one. Just under a minute remaining in the third quarter. As Krummenecker looking for the pass. Can't find openness. And dragged down at about the 34-yard line. As that's going to be counted as a sack. And that was good defense by Port Clinton, making sure that the receivers were not open and making Kromenecker have to scurry, and they dragged him down for a loss and bring down third and 11. Osford took a timeout right now to see what they can do, regroup here. Like I said, ever since they've had that penalty, they have not been able to move the ball here. So good timeout here by the coach. And we'll Let them regroup. We'll take one with them. 42 seconds remaining in the third quarter. 2019, Port Clinton on top. Be right back here on the Toledo Sports Network. When the power goes out, your life is disrupted. Heat, air conditioning, refrigeration, phones, all gone. Want to take back control? A Generac Home Standby Generator protects your home against power outages every second of every day, all year long, automatically, whether you're home or away. Control your power, control your life with a Generac Home Standby Generator. For a free estimate, call Schneider Sons Electric, 419-691-8284. Eminem. I heard it's pretty good.
pretty good. I just haven't listened to it. Yeah. Uh, the first two songs I listened to, there's no hooks in them, but he, he bangs pretty hard. <laughs> Three, two, and welcome back to Rossford High School. As we got a third and very long as Krummenecker got taken down. Uh, second down and getting loose on the left hand side. And oh, it was deflected off number five, Marcus Pinkleton. As he broke that one up, going to bring down fourth and 11 as Rossford brings on the kicking team. And try to pin Fort Clinton deep in their own territory. Brings up fourth down. Back to punt for the Bulldogs. Number six, Cam Reynolds. As Cam Reynolds is going to do everything today as he's about to kick this one. As it's pretty high and oh, got a nice little block there as Rossford pinning him back down at about the 35 yard line. As Rossford's asking for something, thinking that maybe uh, that ball might have touched one of the Redskins and then Rossford picked it up, but no, they're going to say that never happened. Yeah, it was a little close there. He almost looked like he was going to get it blocked into the ball and the punt must not have touched it because they keep possession. Only 26 seconds remaining in this third quarter. Redskins on top by one. Our fall team dinner is the following establishment. Donated meals to all of us. Thanks, it means City of Toledo for sponsoring us. Thank you for continuing to support our Bulldog Athletic Program. Temperature starting to drop here in Rossford. As it looks like they got a delay a game penalty. As the clock ran out, and that's going to push Port Clinton back a couple yards. As they were not aware that the clock was running. Oh, actually a substitution infraction. I looked over the clock, was down to zero. That's what I thought it was too. Needless to say, backed them up five yards. Start this drive, be a first and 15. And now we're going to have a timeout by Port Clinton. We'll take one with them. 26 seconds remaining in the third quarter. You're listening to the Toledo Sports Network. Stop struggling with the big box stores. Choose Gladio. A hardware store, yet so much more. Your home improvement answer store. A place to design your interior space. A professional and friendly smiling face. Everything you need. Gladio is locally owned. You'll be glad to know. Gladio, Gladio Home Center. And after that timeout, welcome you back here to Rossford High School. Support Clinton going to start this drive first and 15. Into the third quarter here, and running right to the right side, picking up maybe two yards on the play. As the clock is still winding down, we may just let this one run out. Under ten seconds now. It doesn't look like they're going to get a playoff, so that is going to take us to the end of the third quarter. Fourth quarter coming up next, 20 to 19. Port Clinton on top of the hometown Rossford Bulldogs. We'll be right back here on the Toledo Sports Network. Wojo's Heating, Air Conditioning, and Plumbing. Quality comfort you can count on since 1967. They're a proud sponsor of Genoa High School Sports and can help you with all your heating, air conditioning, and plumbing needs. Give them a call today at 419-693-3220. You've planned and planned. Each moment of your special day just has to be perfect. You don't want to worry about anything. Just know that you've hired professionals to make your wedding day special. Mike Jamison with Creative Video Imagery has produced award-winning weddings for over 15 years. Our company has the equipment and the artistic ability to capture your day on digital DVD, giving you lasting memories of a day you will cherish forever. 
Call Creative Video Imagery today or visit our website, Creative Video Imagery, making moments into lifetime memories. Welcome back to Ross High Jameson School. Mike Jameson and Jameson's Mobile uh, Music would like to, to talk to you about quarter. your entertainment needs for your... Clark Clinton with the ball as he passes it. Getting now close to the first down marker and crossing over as Connor Gillum picking up the first down. And, oh, and Port Clinton starting to drive. Nice little 10-yard pass there. Forward momentum. Enough to give him the first down to move the chains. Checking in is Nick Walker. 6'4", sophomore, 225. Big boy, about my size. As delayed handoff and met right at the 50 yard line. Second down after that three yard scamper. Both teams are playing pretty decent here. You know, they have that one breakout play that'll put them down the field and open it up. But other than that, a couple penalties here and there have hurt them. A nice little battle going on right now with 11 to go here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, a couple chop blocks there and early in the game. And Klima sees some daylight, decides to run off, and picks up about three yards on the play. It's going to bring up third and manageable. Nice open field tackle there. Rosford had daylight, but was able to close on him and keep him from getting the first down and making it third and three. Yeah, that was a big stop by the Bulldogs. As defense was a little shaky in that third quarter. Pretty good in the first two quarters. You know, hopefully come out here at the beginning of the fourth and take a stand as they run that one up the gut and it looks like it's enough to pick up the first down. Indeed, and as they move the chains. Straight up the gut, moving the chains. Keeping the drive alive here for Port Clinton. Inside Rossford territory. Still a lot of time left in this one. Port Clinton looking to extend this lead. As they set up, twins each side. Single back has design run to the right. Has some room, still on his feet, crosses over the 30 yard line. That's gonna bring up another first down, Port Clinton. Hey, both of these quarterbacks right now are using their feet, being smart, keeping the plays alive. Like you said, that was a design run to the right side. Broke a few arm tackles, enough to get the first down and keep the chains moving. Yeah, Port Clinton's keeping this defense uh, on their toes. They keep mixing it up between pass and run. And I'd probably expect a, quite possibly, a screen pass here. They know they hand it off to the left side, and going right up, and they has plenty of room going down the left side. Missed the tackle, goes into the end zone. They're thinking his knee might have been down, but they're gonna call this a touchdown. Poor Clinton, as they now have a 26-19 lead early here in the first fourth quarter. Nice man in motion there, handed it off, broke it to the outside, and it was a race to the corner of the end zone, and Port Clinton got in there first. It's been all Port Clinton this second half. As they get set, put the extra point. Mamani. As that ball is up, and they're saying it's good. That's going to be 27-19, Port Clinton on top of the hometown Rossford Bulldogs. 9-23 remaining. We'll be right back here on the Toledo Sports Network. Mike Jamison at Jamison Global Music would like to talk to you about your entertainment needs for your upcoming wedding or special event. For over 25 years, Mike has made wonderful memories one event at a time. Professional sound and lighting and video for your special event. Call us today for an affordable package for your special day. 419-514-1302. Jameson's Mobile Music and Video. What's that? Who do you think will get the views tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> we 
should have had them announce it. I smell incense. That means you smell something else sense. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Rockford High School as it is getting loud in the stadium. Port Clayton taking a 27-19 lead early in the fourth quarter. As it's been all Port Clinton second half so far. Ever since that holding play on Reynolds when he broke it for 70 and brought it back. Momentum change going towards Port Clinton right now. They got the lead. See if their defense can hold. Mamani decides to actually kick this one off. As doesn't have much room to go as he gets across the 25 to about the 27 yard line. Rossford needing to put something together here. They've just been struggling this half. Yes, they have. Penalties have hurt them. A lot of time left though here. You know, they've hooked up many times. You know, it's just a matter of time here for Rossford to break it open here and uh, try to get back on the game, a board here and. Uh, Try to get this game uh, close to one possession here. They had 14 unanswered. Krummenacker trips out to the right. He rolls right, passing it to who else? Oh, almost got the strip, but Cam Reynolds staying on his feet as he falls out of bounds. Looks like it's gonna be enough for the first down. That's what they gotta do right now. Keep going to their bread and butter. That's gonna work. You know, keep doing these passes here and it's gonna open up the running game. And like I said, the quarterback's not afraid to run. He's got a few up the middle that have design runs. Actually, both quarterbacks have been doing it. It's been a well fought out battle right now. As Rossford sending trips out to the left. Port Clinton only rushing three. As they finally bring it forth into the line and stopping him dead in his tracks. Good defensive play there by Port Clinton. As they brought the left uh, linebacker up. And he had nowhere to go. Clock still running, 8.30 remaining in the fourth quarter. Second down and 10. Romanacker from the gun. Trips out to the left, single back. As throws the fourth out to the left. Short pass, that's a little low. Waiting for the call. Looks like they're gonna give him that catch. Yes, he did. Gain of about five. Good play there by the Bulldogs. That's a big bring up third and manageable. Rossford waiting for the call from the sidelines. Port Clinton basically rushing three all game. Sitting back in the nickel. Quick pass out to the left. Enough for the first down up to the 50 yard line. And that's a way to keep this drive alive for the Bulldogs. Rossford well, doing a good job right now. They keep getting uh, the ball into the right hands, moving the chains into Port Clinton territory right now. We'll see what we can do here with the 7.26 left here in the fourth quarter. Trailing by eight. Well, Rossford doing a good job mixing things up on this drive. Keeping Port Clinton back on their heels. As that pass is going to fall incomplete. As Kromanacker threw that off his back leg and short-armed it a little bit. Yeah, never really got nothing on that throw and uh, threw it low and the receiver was not able to get it. Starting to cool down here at Rossford High School Stadium. Kromanacker from the gun, trips out to the right. Fake pass, oh, and that's intercepted! Port Clinton going back, looks like he's gonna get a touchdown. That was number 33, Cooper Stein. They tried the little quick hitter, defensive player jumped the route, 
in his breath basket, nobody in front of him, takes it all the way into the end zone, touchdown, Port Clinton. Yeah, that was a good job by Stein jumping back, jumping that route from the linebacker position. And going to give them a 33 to 19 lead halfway through this fourth quarter. As Rossford just feeling defeated already. And Port Clinton taking a pretty big lead. You know, they were moving the chains, got into Port Clinton territory, and just unfortunate mishap there. Bad throw. We had Six little, points going the other way. Had a little delay there as they only had 10 men on the field. That low kick is going to go wide to the left. 33-19, Port Clinton on top of Rossburg. 6.59 remaining in the fourth quarter. We'll be right back here on the Toledo Sports Network. Genoa Napa, your local auto parts store. Located at State Route 51 in Genoa. It's time to prepare your vehicle for the harsh winter months. At Napa, we have what you need from antifreeze to wipers. Napa know-how. 21971 West State Route 51. Genoa Jeweler, 611 Main Street in Genoa, has been serving the area with quality jewelry and gifts for over 19 years. Specializing in gold and silver repairs, Frank Comeyes has been a goldsmith for over 30 years. Our selection of Pulsar watches, precious moments figurines, reflections beads, seraphim classics, and quality stellar rings, all at a price you can afford. Genoa Jewelers also buys gold and silver and has the perfect gift for that someone special. Stop out today at Genoa Jewelers, 611 Main Street in Genoa. Takes a little strain off our shoulders, too. <laughs> and welcome back to Rossford High School. As Port Clinton extending their lead after that pickoff by Stein. As he walks into the end zone and halfway through this fourth quarter. Getting set to kick it off is Hunter Mominy. Low line drive. Picked up about the 25 yard line. Gets to the right side still on his feet, but dragged down. By number 15, Zach Weldon. Good to open field tackle there by Weldon. All right, now it's time for Rosford here. Under seven minutes to go here. You got to definitely spread it out here. Try to find their big plays and uh, get down the field and uh, try to get a quick score here and uh, shut them down and try to get back into this game. But I think the clock is going to be starting to be a factor here for the Bulldogs. Let's go thank our sponsors, UAW50, IBW, and Taz. Taz Electronics. Well, sit means sit at Toledo. Cromanacker got really quiet in the stadium as Cromanacker throws off the back foot, and that's going to be about five yards ahead of his receiver there. As Cromanacker is asking for a flag, I think. So he got hit. Yeah, that, that pocket actually closed up pretty quick for him. He had to get rid of it sooner than he wanted to, and that's why it was unfortunately overthrown and going to bring up second down. The offensive line did really good in the first half of holding the defenders back, not letting them get into Kromanacker. Uh, having a little trouble here in the second half. Not allowing Kromanacker to get his feet set on these throws. They're only rushing three. Another short pass and met right at the point of contact. Up at the about 32-yard line. That's going to bring up third down. Great defense there by Port Clinton. It's a loss in the play there, too. Bring it up third and 12. They need to go back to single coverage with Cam uh, Reynolds and try to break him loose down the sideline. They just, these, the three defensive linemen, they're just breaking through and they just really don't have, give, not giving Kromanecker enough time to complete a pass. Man in motion out to the left. 
As breaking free and blocking the back is going to, so whatever happens here is going to be, as that was a high hit around the neck. But while he picked up the first down, this one is going to come back for a block in the back. I saw that one. Yeah, unfortunately, they're rushing three. The one got through. Line's not giving the quarterback a, a time to throw the ball, and unfortunately, you got a block in the back after the completion. So it's going to avoid that catch. Push Rossford back. Going to make it third and long. Starting to run out of time with 5.54 remaining here in this game. Trailing 33 to 19. Yeah, they got real quiet in this stadium. They were jacked after first half. Definitely the tails of two halves here. As we're at third and 22 after that penalty. Bringing them all the way back down to about the 16 yard line. Got, got room down the sideline and could not hook up with number 15, Lucas Klotz. He had him streaking down the sideline. He's got the arm to throw it. Just needs a little bit more air under it that time. Wasn't able to hook up. Gonna bring up fourth down for Rossford. Clock stopped on play as they get set to kick this one off. I believe that's going to be Cam Reynolds kicking again. As that's a high snap, but picked up by Reynolds and gets that off. As that was a pretty good kick all the way back to the 50. Gets a bounce and Rossford down to the ball at about the 48 yard line of the Port Clinton side. 520 remaining, 33 19. Port Clinton on top. We'll be right back here on the Toledo Sports Network. Is your roof past its peak? It's not always this easy to tell. From rooftops to foundations, Seagate is a trusted A-plus BBB accredited business and a Platinum Preferred Contractor. As a Platinum Preferred Contractor, we offer one of the country's best roofing warranties, the Owens Corning True Protection 50-year warranty. That's material and labor. We've earned your trust for over 30 years, Toledo. Call Seagate now. And welcome back to Rosser High School. It's Port Clinton. Working with 520 remaining in this one. I'd say they probably run and try to kill some more of this clock. And keep it running. As that's going to go for a loss. Good job there by the line. It's the Bulldogs. And right now, uh, Port Clinton's all got to do is protect that ball. Try to move the chains to get the first down to keep that clock running. And that's another thing that Port Clinton worked on uh, in the half as they had a little trouble handing the ball off uh, between Klima and his running back and haven't had any issues the second half. Nope. That's just it. You know, they were able to not make it be a turnover when they uh, miss, you know, mishap the handoff. You know, that's the difference right there. You had the penalties, the pick six. You know, ever since that, it's just roster's been playing a phenomenal game, man. And Reynolds... You know, can't take it away from him. You know, we had a holding call and it brought it back. And then ever since that play was just the turning point that just took the sails out of Rossford's game. As Port Clinton takes a timeout, we'll take one with them. 434 left in this game. 33-19, Port Clinton on top. This is the Toledo Sports Network. If you're looking for fantastic Italian food along Who with old world out? hospitality and family traditions, D'Astasio's is your place. Located in Elmore, Ohio, Coach Mike D'Astasio and his family have become a fast favorite with pizza, lasagna, and other great old world Italian dishes. Stop out today or call them at 419-862-0404. D'Astasio's, 351 Rice Street in Elmore, Ohio. <laughs> And welcome back to Rossford High School. Port Clinton took a timeout there as they ran the play clock down. It's time to hand it off to the right. 
and got some room still on his feet and finally falling out of bounds is Ian Willoughby. Like we were saying, all Port Clinton's got to do is keep handing that ball off, moving those chains, keep that clock going. And if you notice, he stumbled out of bounds. I think he realized he was getting close and wanted to stay in bounds. Right. Uh, unfortunately, that is going to stop the clock. It's just that instincts, you know. That's what you want to do, get in there and stop the clock. But you got the first down moving to change. You did your job. As they're in pro formation. And another handoff to the left side. Down the middle. And all the way down to the 23-yard line. As not only are they keeping this clock running, they are picking up a lot of yards at the same time. Ball carrier for the Redskins brought down by number 6, Cam Reno. Going number 16, Zach Clark. First down, Redskins. 407 remaining in this one. Twins out left. High snap. And Willoughby again. The run still on his feet and driving as a slew of Bulldogs finally take him down after he crosses over the 20 and to about the 16 yard line. Slow to get up. As Willoughby. You know, for the most part, Rossford, you know. The score's showing a different tale here, but other than that, you know, both teams have played well. You know, unfortunately, you just had those mishaps where the other team uh, was able to convert with the pick six. And after that tangle up there with Willoughby and one of the defenders, we do have an injured player on the field. We'll take one more time out here. Be right back. 334 remaining in the fourth quarter. 33-19, Port Clinton on top. This is the Toledo Sports Network. Graymont in Genoa, producers of doclamide, lime, and hydrate, serving the community for over 90 years. The plant currently has 60 employees. The safety and development of these employees is a focus for your plant. Over 80% of our employees currently live within 11 miles of the plant. Graymont, for more information about this company, you can check us out on the web at www.graymont.com. And welcome back to Rossford High School as Port Clinton deciding to run the ball again to the right end. Cuts back to the left. Still on his feet. Gets down to about the 10-yard line as Port Clinton keeps that clock running. Nice and little cut back inside to move the chain. Given Port Clinton first and go. Ball carrier for the Redskins brought down by a host of Bulldogs. First down, Port Yeah, Clinton. Rossford just... Fell apart defensively here in the second half. And Port Clinton dominating with the run game. As their line, the D line, just can't uh, stop them at the point of contact. As holding on to the ball, cutting back left, gets to the outside. He might get around and scampers into the end zone for a touchdown. Nice little quarterback keeper there. Race to the pylons. Port Clinton was able to get into the end zone to add to their lead. As I believe that's the first touchdown for Klima. The scamper's in for the 10 yard run. Ball carrier number 14, Colton Klima, on the touchdown for the Redskins. Two fifty three remaining in this game. Port Clinton looking to tack on another point. And it looks like we've got an infraction on Port Clinton. And that's going to bring them back about five yards. Well, what's going on? Now they're sending a different team in there. Looks like they're going for two. Well. Oh, they're going to kick it. There you go. All right. A little confusion up here. Sorry about that, folks. But Mamani, as that one is kicked 
right through the upright, and it's going to be 40 to 19. Fort Clinton on top of the hometown Rossford Bulldogs. 2:53 remaining. We'll be right back here on the Toledo Sports Network. Do you ever drive around the neighborhoods just to look at the houses? I like spotting the ones that have been around the longest because they remind me of the amazing legacy I'm part of. Hi, I'm Marty Sutter, president of Genoa Bank. For over 110 years, our bank has helped families buy and build their homes. And all that time, one thing hasn't changed. At Genoa Bank, we believe that when we put the mortgage needs first, the rest takes care of itself. Genoa Bank, taking your banking needs personally. Check, check. You here? Huh? What? Huh? Welcome back to Rossford High School. Port Clinton, the quarterback keeper, up 40 to 19. There was an infraction by Port Clinton on the extra point conversion. Rossford elects to take it on the kickoff. Means they're going to Port Clinton's be kicking off from the 25 yard line. And Mamani, short little pooch punt. And Rossford going down the left sideline, met there by a slew of Redskins. Going to bring him down to about the 46 yard line. Abernathy only got a couple yards on that return. I think at this point, just looking to work on some of those fundamentals for next game. And try not to get injured. Kromanak are still in. Back from the gun. Three to the right, two to the left. Port Clinton pushing three. Find the man open to the left. Enough for the first down and getting out of bounds. Stopping the clock with 241 remaining in the fourth. Rossford's done a good job of moving the chains and everything. But like I said, just the penalties and mishaps and. Anything can happen in these they, games. You know, they played a good game, you know, for the most part. Just. Yeah, they shouldn't walk out of here feeling defeated, even no, though they I mean, lost the score, this game. I mean, the score looks worse than what, what the game has actually had. Yeah, single coverage to the left and going that way. Getting close to that first down marker, just shy about a yard, I'd say. And there's another completion for Kromenacker. And I think this is what the, the game they should have stayed with most of, the, of this uh, second half was the short passing game. That's what got them a lot of yards, and that opened up uh, the long passes down the sidelines. and Especially those little dump screen passes that they had. They, I mean, they worked almost every time for them. As Kromenecker drops back, looks to his right. Hitting the man and still on his feet and going down the sideline. Down to the, he is in for the touchdown. Drew Burks with the reception and the TD. Nice little twinkle toes down the sideline into the end zone for a touchdown for the Bulldogs. Yeah, as soon as he got past that last defender, he had about 20 yards of just open field to run to. And that's going to help boost their confidence. Probably a little too late in this one to come back. But at least you can try to walk away feeling good. Is that one is up and good. 40 to 26, 325 remaining. We'll be right back here on the Toledo Sports Network. 
Blackberry Corner on the corner of 579 and Elliston Road is a proud sponsor of Genoa Football and has the best burgers, chicken, and pizza. You know the pizza. Everyone knows the pizza. Blackberry Corner also has charbroiled pork ribs and Jim's famous chicken dinners. Whether it's appetizers, pizza, or a full dinner, the great folks at Blackberry Corner can help fill you up and save you money. Stop out to Blackberry Corners on the corner of State Route 579 and Elliston Road for a meal or just a snack. Actually, that was Ross Hurd's first win of the year. Yep. Even though they were now one and one in the conference. That Dunn chick, she can hit the ball. Yes. She she's about an average size girl. Where'd she come from? She transferred from somewhere. Oh, I'm not sure. Centro or something or Notre Dame. I think it was Notre Dame. Possible. Wherever she uh, came from, she definitely brought it. Welcome back to Rossford High School. As Port Clinton is on top, 40 to 26. On side. As Rossford cut into that lead a little bit. This might be a little too late. Look for an onside kick here as the Redskins bring everybody up to the line. They may actually, if they're smart, put this up on the tee and try to pooch it over their heads because there is no one back behind the 45. As here we go, as this is gonna be a low liner and that's gonna travel out of bounds. And gonna give possession to Port Clinton. At around the 43 yard line. Actually looking closer to the I assume Portland's going to come out here, maybe not in the victory formation, but try to run the ball a couple times, waste some more of that precious clock down. Again, we'd like to thank some of our sponsors, UA50, IBEW, and Taz, three of our big sponsors here. Also... Genoa Bank, one of the big sponsors of Toledo Sports Network. As they're trading up footballs here with possession. They're going to line up, hand the ball off. And getting nowhere was Willoughby. Losing a couple yards. Timeout, Rossford. Yeah, I think Rossford would like to get a big stop here and have the opportunity to work on some more fundamentals in their offensive game. Maybe make this look a little closer than it really was. Well, they are, and they have a young team here. You know, hats off to them. Played a great game. On both sides of the ball, their defense played great. I mean, there has been many a times they were down in the red zone and held them. Well, we knew Kromanacker was going to hook up with Cam Reynolds numerous times throughout this one, and they dominated the first half together. Um, just have fell a little short ever since halftime. Yeah, just Port Clinton was able to make, you know, the better plays. Yeah, they definitely made some adjustments themselves on defense. While they were in there, I guess we're going to call those tents for their locker room here since yeah. there isn't a school behind us anymore. Well, doing renovation here, we have new modernized school coming here in Rossford. And then uh, I heard they're going to be doing the field here. They will eventually be getting a turf field in the whole nine yards. So oh, it'll be a nice, nice little complex too. here when it's all said and done. And that's ran around the middle, driving forward right through people and still going on his feet down to the 20. 10, 5, and chopped down at about the two-yard line as he was barreling through people. His legs were churning, and he did not want to stop. That's what he was doing. Kept the legs at chopping. Defensive players bouncing off of him. He's a little stocky. He's a little, he's a little short guy. Stocky. Got the big tree trunk legs. Driving all the way down to the two-yard line. 
he just lowered the boom there, and Rossford finally dragging him down. Clock was temporarily stopped. That first down. Actually, it's looking like he may have fallen out of bounds. Because they're going to mark him down back at the four. And here comes a run right up the middle. And just walking right in for the touchdown. Now making it 46 to 26. Game just got away from Ross for a little bit. A couple penalties did hurt them early in the third. And Port Clinton took advantage of that. On for the extra point. That is up. And good. 47-26, 204 remaining in the fourth quarter. Be right back here on the Toledo Sports Network. Benches Greenhouse and Nursery in Elmore, Ohio is a proud sponsor of Northwest Ohio Athletics. Our spacious greenhouse area has what you need for your outdoor beautification projects. With great specials and those hard to find plants, shrubs and trees, Benches Greenhouse and Nursery takes the guesswork out of planning and maintaining your favorite garden and more. Benches Greenhouse and Nursery. Call them today, 419-862-3596. Back to Rossford High School. Fort Clinton scoring on that drive, making it 47 to 26. As they get set to kick it off, Mamani puts that on the tee and ooh, a little squib kick, but Rossford fell on that around the 48 yard line. Got to give them pretty good field possession as. Looks like they may get set for a two-minute drill. They only have one timeout left. So you try to work on some things for the end of this one. And looking to the sidelines for the call. Yeah, Port Clinton came in here tonight, finally got their first W of the season, putting them one-on-one -on -one in the year. Rossford right now. And dropping back, looking downfield, wide open, he has him. Can he get him? Yes, right in the wheelhouse, and they score with one play. He Damn had at Reynolds. least three or four steps on that defensive player right there. He put it right in the bread basket. Nice pass. Hit him right on the numbers, too. Is that Reynolds? Yes, it was. He is over 200 yards, for sure. As they hook up again, putting more points on the board. 47-32 right now. As it looks like they're gonna go possibly for two, maybe. They're waiting for the call from the sideline. Running down to 10 seconds left on the play clock. Better hurry up. Yeah, someone better get in there. Might have been short a player. Well, they're going to go All for right. the kick. They got four seconds. Three, two, just get it off in time. That's up. And no problem. 47-33. Just under two minutes remaining in this one. We'll take one more timeout. This is the Toledo Sports Network. We're the people that need God. When it comes to electrical work, you want to make sure it's done right the first time. 
NECA contractors employ the most highly trained and reliable workforce in the industry, which means quality and safety. We can help you get the job done on time and on budget. The right connection you need. We're the people at NECA. People with the right connections. Well, I say when you, when you see that their defense is lining up, no one's past the 45, send, one, send a gunner down. I mean, send Reynolds. Reynolds is fast. Pretend you're going to onside it, kick it over their heads. Welcome back to Rossford High School as Rossford made it interesting. Only down by two scores right now. Looking for an onside kick. This time they're going to go to the right. And they get the pass in. I think Rossford fell on it. Waited for the call from yes, the judge. And they did. Uh-oh. Wow. Uh-oh. There's a flag, though. That's fine. Let's see what the call is. It might just been a marker. On okay, it looks Port like Clinton. A, yeah, it looks like it was offsides on Port Clinton. That ball is going to stay with the Bulldogs with 156 remaining in this one. Now, how big is that uh, last drive by Port Clinton where Rosser could have stopped them? They'd only be down by seven right now with possession as they do move the ball f up oh, after the, the infraction. Personal foul, 15 yarder. It's going to put them into the 34 yard line. A little, real short field to work with. I'm sorry, Rosford, that you said you didn't get your win yet. I didn't get to finish the sentence. I said, don't count us out yet, Cheatham. <laughs> so both of us just need to keep our mouths shut. <laughs> As I'm sure he's going to look to Reynolds again. Getting him downfield right up the center and completion across the 20 to about the 16-yard line. Still driving. Clock stops as they move the change. Kromanacker still in the gun. There's the whistle. And throwing it to the right. And just mishandling that ball is number 11, Brandon Abernathy. As that's going to stop the clock. 144 remaining in this one. They score here and get another onside. Could be interesting. Now, it will be interesting if they do score here. Absolutely. As the stands have kind of cleared out here, and I don't think anyone expected this. Opportunity for the Bulldogs to pull within one possession. As that was snapped a little bit outside, but ooh, as we had contact as Mamani went up for it and was hit hard. But he's back on his feet. Gonna bring down third down. It's it's definitely a uh, four town possession. Yeah, Hunter Nolan put the lick on him there for poor Clinton. How he hit him so hard he knocked his own mouthpiece out of his mouth. <laughs> 141 remaining in this fourth quarter. Man motion to the right. Looking downfield in the end zone. Just gets rid of it. Finds the man about the 10-yard line, but tipped off his hands, and that's going to bring down fourth down. They do have an opportunity to get a first down here if it's available. So it does not need to be a touchdown. But this is a huge play for Kromanacker. Got to watch the uh, Port Clinton defense. They might send an extra man just to rush this throw. Twelve seconds left of the play clock. Single coverage to the left. From an acre, man in motion. Looking left and trying to thread the needle. It couldn't. Looking for a flag, but not getting it. 
And that is going to be a turnover. And it looks like Port Clinton is probably going to come out of this one with the win. There was a little contact in the end zone there, but not enough to draw the flag. As Turnover on downs. Ball goes to Port Clinton. Had a little issue there with one of the players. As Gunnar Zink had to run over to the Rossford bench to get some of his equipment back. He didn't seem too happy about that. You know, all Port Clinton's got to do now is just run this clock down. Rossford still has one timeout, so you'll probably see a play here. They only have five seconds remaining to get this uh, play off. And there's the run up the right side. Some room to the left, cutting back to the middle, and falling down at about the 34-yard line. That's going to temporarily stop the clock as they move the chains. Let's see if Rossford elects to use their timeout here. Rumbarger on that carry there. Uh, Rossford not going to call the timeout. Clock continues to run. It's a good effort there by Kromanacker as they try to get back in as a quarterback keeper. Running down the sideline. He'd like to stay in bounds. And they're going to give that to him. 53 seconds. Clock still running. The eight-yard scamper. I like what I see there, though, by uh, Port Clinton, though. Their receivers are definitely you know, blocking downfield. You know, they don't just catch the ball. They, they're part of the part of the play, too, where uh, quarterback was able to get around the outside and uh, almost get the first down, bring up second and short. As the Redskins are going to let the play clock run down. This should be enough to, they're in victory formation, so one last snap the ball. And, and that, will that will do it. As the Port Clinton Redskins come in here to Rossford High School, and they win this one 47 to 33. Got interesting at the end, Dave. Very. I mean, both teams were Shooting it out back and forth, but uh, unfortunately it was just uh, one play too too late for the Rossford Bulldogs. Turnovers hurt them. The pick six, penalties, but for the most part, you know they play they they put up 33 points. You know, and good job by Willoughby for Port Clinton as he was just rolling over people tonight. Uh, their run game was definitely a little too tough for Rossford to handle. Uh, but they are going to walk out of here with a 47-33 victory. Uh, my name is Josh Harris for Dave Cheatham. And Luke is doing a great job up on camera. We're going to say good night here from Rossford High School. Have a good night, everybody.